Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Why am I in this position? Because the following video after this intro is my videos from my other channel, Daily Squad Talk. But I have moved them all here in this channel so it is easily accessible to you guys. The idea of those videos is to make the video in a squat position for the entire duration and also to make sure you guys are joining me watching it in a squat position. The videos are anywhere from 2 to 5 to 10 minutes and I have done them without cutting in just one shot in a squat position so that I can have a habit of being in a squat position and so can you. My idea is to promote squat position as a position to be in in our daily life not just to do heavy back squat like I do or front squats. I will create a playlist called squat talk so that you can click on it and watch them and perhaps try to start a new habit of being in a squat position out of your chair and couch for just a few minutes on daily basis. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Daily Squat Talk, where we talk about anything while we're in this position for two minutes or maybe more. So today I'm going to talk about two things that no one tells you about squats. But before that, are you in a squat position like me? No? And if you're not, if you don't feel comfortable, then maybe hold on to something. See, you don't have to start with the hardest part. You can always make it easy for you. You can use some soft cushions under your feet. You can sit on something. You don't have always to start in the proper squat. You can hold something on for a few seconds, stand up, get back down until you reach a position where you're like me and can sit here comfortably and talk. Anyway, the two things that no one ever tells you on YouTube or anywhere else. First, squat. This position is not an exercise. It's not a movement. It's not an asana. It's not a lifting. As I've said clear that we're not talking about back squat or front squat or overhead squat or a zerker squat or a body weight squat or air squat as they call it in CrossFit. It is simply a position which is extremely natural to us very normal. If you see a little child, they sit down in this position all the time. As opposed to a push-up or a plank, which is an exercise, it is a movement that you have to do. It has no functionality beyond it. It is good to do it. It is functional only in terms of exercise. You don't use that position anywhere in your real life at all. Hence, it is less natural less normal and less functional. You are standing up, you go down, you are sitting down. You can call it a squat. I don't know when it got named as squat. Uh, where I come from in India, this is how we sit in most times. And in most of the Eastern countries, this is what it means to sit down. So yes, it is the most normal, natural position to be in. It is not an exercise. Okay, that's why I'm doing this two-minute squat so that we can sit and talk in this position rather than stuck to our furnitures, our couches, our chairs. Second thing is the kind of massage it gives to your internal organs. Right now, they are under the right amount of pressure while I'm in this position. The kind, the way that we are folded right now, it puts enough pressure from my upper body and my thighs for them to be nice cushioned massage way which we can't get it in a standing position or in a chair position like we do. This is the position where we are settling in and our internal organs are thanking us. We do know that this position is also the most optimal and efficient position to pass bowel but there will be a different video. So those are the two things in today's daily squat talk. A, to identify that squat, as we call it, is not an exercise, not a movement, not a lift, it's not an asana, 
we can call it a position because it has, we have to call something. This is a position to be in. Secondly, the nice message that your internal organs get when you're in this position. So I hope you get something out of that. I'm still looking for that first person to watch my video, like my video, and comment and subscribe. Let's see who will be the first one. See you next time.